Are you wondering what the major differences are between a research paper and a review paper? Today, we're going to cover three major differences in research versus review paper. The first set of differences is about the purpose of each of these papers. So for a research paper, the main purpose is to share data that you've collected and analyzed and explain what that data means and why it's important to the field you're studying. On the other hand, a review paper is there to compile a large amount of research on a very specific topic. This can include research that maybe you and other people have performed and you're going to compile it and synthesize what do you really get when you put all of this research together? What comes out of it and what should be done next in the field? The next major difference between a research paper and a review paper is the structure of both of these papers. In a research paper, you want to have the typical structure, which is an introduction, your methods, results, discussion, and conclusion. And so in this case, you're going to give the reader background in the field, you're going to take them through what you did, the results you found, what those results mean, and then summarize that paper and tell them what you think should be done next after that paper. A review paper, on the other hand, has a fairly different structure to it. So in a review paper, your first section is going to be an introduction, which is going to give background into the field and let your reader know why it's important to even understand this field or do research in it. After you have the introduction, you're then gonna get into what I call the literature story. And if you want more information about how to write your literature story, check out this video above that I did all about how to write literature reviews. Your literature story is essentially a story of the different research that has been done by you or other people in this field. Once you've covered kind of the entire story of the field, you wanna follow it up with a conclusion just like your research paper. But in this case, your conclusion is going to summarize and synthesize what other people have done and then it's also going to say where should this entire field go next not just that one research paper what its next steps are another major difference is when you should write each of these papers so for a research paper you should really start writing this paper once you've completed all of the data that makes sense to go in this paper once you've completed your data, you want to start making figures, coming up with a story, and then working on writing your paper. A review paper has a little bit of a different timeline. So you do have to have papers within your review, so you need to at least have some research papers in the field that you want to do a review on. However, you don't actually have to be working on completing data in order to be able to write your review. So when is the best time to write a review? A lot of people will tend to write a review very soon after getting into graduate school. And a lot of these reviews tend to fail over time or need a lot more revisions than would be necessary if they just held off on writing it. In my view, I think you need to have at least completed one project and probably even written one research paper in that field before you start trying to write a review paper in it. The action of completing that project will actually give you a really good feel for the literature within that field. And so you'll actually write it more quickly, have a more narrow focus, and know what's important in that field and what makes sense. Too often I see first year graduate students trying to start reading all of this literature to write a literature review, but then it never really goes anywhere because honestly, until you have started working with that research, you don't know what that literature is fully saying to you. So instead, put down the literature for a little bit and get into the lab. Figure out what these different things are and what it feels like to be doing this research. Once you've done that, you're gonna have a better understanding of what other people actually care to know about in this field rather than just reading a ton of papers and trying to get it just based on what other people are saying. Are you planning on writing a review paper in your graduate school career? Comment down below and let me know. Also, when are you planning on writing it? Are you trying to be that first year that's gonna crank out a review paper? Or do you have a couple papers that you've written by now and now you wanna write your review paper? If you're working on research papers, make sure you check out my checklist all about how to write research papers at scientificresearchpaperchecklist.com 
or click the link below in the description. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit the like up button and I hope that you subscribe to this channel for more information on how to get you through graduate school. And I will see you guys in the next video.